Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy, Civil 3D. So today within Civil 3D, what we're going to see is how to edit uh, a point within a surface. So remember, so when you're actually building your surface, your surface might be built using AutoCAD points or Kogo points or, um, or even contours. It could be any of those data which can be used to build the surface. In respect of how you do it, the surface is actually a triangulated surface. That means based on the data that you give and based on the surface parameters that you use to build the surface, the tin model, it will actually create triangles. So each of those nodes within a triangle, let's say if I actually switch this one to uh, triangulation style, each of those nodes will have a point. So that's how triangulated surfaces are created. So the surface has got all these points. Now these points are not visible and you cannot edit it, you cannot select it, it's part of the surface. So how do we edit those points? So this is one of the questions that was asked. So now to do that, first thing is, uh, if you're using a contour style, so whenever you want to edit a surface, make sure that you switch to the triangle style. So that's the best way to go forward. Now, once you select your surface, we need to make sure that we need to see the points first to see, okay, the points are there, let's go and edit it. That's the second step. First, put that style to triangulation. And second, uh, second is maybe we have to show the points. So how do we show the points? So there is no style within Civil 3D. Uh, in by default anything that actually displays the points most of them don't display the civil 3d surface points so to do that we need to create a style or edit an existing style to display the point so let me go to surface properties and let's say i'm using this cyan triangulation i'm going to make a copy current selection i'm going to this one i'm going to say with points And um, so the thing that we need is go to the display tab and there is points and that's on the plan view. I'm going to turn it on. Now, as you can see, there is other things that you can turn it on as well. But in this case, it's just going to be points. And if you want, you can throw it into a different color as well. Um, so let's say for the exercise sake, uh, let me put into uh, it was in red color. I think that should be good enough. Uh, let's keep it in red should be fine. All right, so now that's done, hit apply, okay, and you should be able to see the points. So now we have the points, but we are not able to select the points because the points is actually part of the surface style. So how do we select it, edit it, what we do with that? So for that, on the tool space, if you expand your surfaces, expand the surface that you're on the screen, which is NS surface, and uh, now expand your definition, and there is edits. And if you right click here, there is option that says add point, delete point, modify, and move point. So I'm going to click on, let's say, add point, and then I'm going to come up here. So just in case, if you're not able to snap into these kind of stuff, uh, you can use NEA. Uh, that's the nearest. And then you can uh, put a point in there, and you can specify the elevation of the point. Press Enter, and then you can create a point. So that is adding a point. So make sure that you come out of the command once you've done it, or else you'll come continuously creating points. And next one is delete point. Select it, and go and pick the point. You can even create mul select multiple points, delete it, uh, select edges. Okay, delete point. Okay, so that's gone. So let's do a couple of undo to get back before. All right, so next one is um, modify point. You click on that. And then you select any of the points and then it shows um, one or multiple points that you have selected press enter and it shows what's the elevation and then you can change it to let's say 430 and uh, so that point elevation is changed to 430 and the next one is uh, move point so you can select it and go and select the point and then specify the new location click here and the point is move, moved. So this is all the commands to edit a point, create a new point, delete, and then move a point. Um, so if you have any further questions, just let me know, guys. But once you're done with this one, you can go back again to the style and you can actually uh, put it back, uh, the turn off the point style, uh, point definition. All right, so that's all for today, guys. So probably I'll do a couple of more videos. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm planning to do some more videos on SubAssembly Composer. Um, so I haven't touched that subject for a while. So let's do some videos on that as well. All right, thanks, guys. If you like it, share the video and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.